They arrived. That's right. Brand new pristine Fear of God 7th Collection nylon pants. All right. Don't want to waste any time. Fear of God 7th Collection nylon pants in the iridescent green colorway. You have the Fear of God tag. Of course, you have the encased waistband, elongated uh, draw cords as well. That's something reminiscent of the brand itself. Leather patch on the front. The pockets that are truly like straight off to the side for these pants and then also um, made in the usa they are recommended to be dry cleaned i picked up a size extra small as i read they were very very generous in sizing you have kind of a square design on the back rear of the pants themselves and then the bottoms are uh, velcro adjustable so that is one really nice thing you can wear them super relaxed to fall on the top of pants or you can cuff them with the velcro itself I think I've actually purchased more Fear of God mainline collection items than I have essentials this year. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video on Talks with TJ. And very fast, the latest apparel to hit the collection for fear of god that's right seventh collection nylon pants said to be their most generous cut and i would probably agree mind you i don't have any of the other collection pants to compare that aren't the camo pants and i'll go ahead and ensure that you guys have a side by side of these on for both the nylon pair and then the camo pair i just want you guys to see what an extra small looks like and then a small the material is different you have the the japanese material for the camo pants versus this nylon but i still just want you to see what they look like side by side on for myself and that may help you with a future purchase now i said it in the beginning i think i've actually purchased more mainline collection items this year in 2022 than i have essentials items and that may ring true now when spring summer 2022 hit with the new flock logo design i had a few items right i had some shirts 1977 some shorts as well nylon pants and uh, i guess i've had the coral the bucket hat and the other raw edge knit. So I guess a healthy collection. It may be balanced now that I'm thinking back. It may actually be a more balanced uh, addition from both sides, both mainline and then also essentials. And with the direction that some of the essentials pieces are going, I actually like how they are very similar, at least in appearance, the subtlety of collection items. I like some things, actually, I like things more and more these days that aren't necessarily branded. If you take a look at the Richie Lee collection items I have, one thing I love about them, there is no branding present. So it's really easy to integrate them into any and all footwear that I may have on that day, but with other brands as well. And you guys know I like to play around with the tones and what we get from Jerry with everything. So we have the uh nylon pants here in the extra small and bargains okay patience pays first off i've said that before patience pays and right now listen we have a lot of people that speak exclusively on finance that we're heading into what they believe a full-blown recession you will start to see or quite possibly see layoffs and a number of different things take a turn for the worst <laughs> not for the best as we head into 2023 that is probably true I would probably agree with them. They're also much more intelligent than I am in this. I would say they're probably true. So making a decision of how you spend your money is very important, but also if there are still things on wish list that you want, what's the best way to go about securing them? And quite frankly, paying full price is not something that I would want to do if I don't have to do it. That's just, that's just me. If I don't have to, I'm not going to uh, do that. And so whenever the, the collections drop on the main side, I'll be very honest honest with you, I love to browse the lookbooks, see what's there, see how I can actually remix whatever I already have in my closet right now to still get that look and that aesthetic, but wait to actually maybe secure those pieces until they go on sale. Mr. Porter has sale, Essence has sale, the site clearly had a sale, Feature uh, will have sales too. So it's just when will it hit that right price point for you and then have that money set aside if you can within that month or that time or just you know off again to the side to purchase 
And I think that's one of the smartest ways to go about it. I myself, listen, I don't intend to uh, move forward into the holiday season buying full price. Like even when Eternal drops, more power to Eternal, but I won't just go and drop six, 700 on pants. I'll be patient. I'll wait when they drop down, maybe that two to $300 price range. And it works within whatever I have going on for the month. Finance wise, I'll go ahead and pick those up if they're really something that I want. If not, I'll just, I'll just pass. But I really appreciate having more timeless pieces in my collection and things that will integrate really well, whether it's with essentials, other mainline items, other brands that I have in my closet. I wear a lot of H&M. H&M is a great place to shop. I like the, the direction they've gone for some of their, well, for a lot of their menswear, but also women's suits. So technically it's not menswear, it's they're just suits or it's just business casual. Either way, you guys already know, I will remake something into business casual in a second, although I work from home. So don't ask me like when I have to formally be in that attire. <laughs> but I still like it. And it's something that I'll rock when I'm just out with friends for dinner, whatever. So another pair of pants, which also means I should probably be diligent and get rid of a pair of pants. I don't know if I'll really accomplish that before this video is uploaded, but I'll do my best and I'll try. And I appreciate you guys tuning in for any and all videos. Be sure to also check out any of the recent unboxings, especially for that women starfish, if you were curious what they look like, and then the intention behind that pair. And also, I'm not sure if the 218 Air Jordan 2 Low video is up before this is up, but if it is, please check that out. If it's not, stay tuned for more. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.